well if you prepare for something as opposed to just not being prepared for it. Right. So you think the, the placement would be more accurate if people p prepare for it? Yeah, I think it would be because sometimes you just, you can forget something. Like we're having a conversation right now, but next week I may have forgot something that we just talked about. Not that it wasn't important or something like that, but it just slips your mind. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't done something for a long time, then of course some fine points will slip your mind. And that's what I think happened with the placement test. If you off school, if you come in here and you've been off school all summer, and then you come in and take a placement test, the only thing that's going to really register is things you really like to do. Mm -hmm. You may really like Tom's table or something like that. Mm -hmm. You may really like, all right, so you would do well at them points. And the other thing that you may not have liked as much, you may not do as well with these. But if you prepare it for it, then you'll do well in all of them. Mm -hmm. It's just how I see it. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you think the placement test measures current skill level? That's what, that's what I evaluate. Right. Do, yes. do, you, do you think it measures intelligence? ask you questions, you have me write, but I just think that is a lot of times with, with stuff with school work, they just remember it, because mm -hmm. that's what you do a lot, like you have to do a lot of remembering when you're in school, and you've been taught something, then you remember this, and you remember that, so I don't know how they write with your intelligence necessarily, mm -hmm. it's just reading and remembering, because just because mm -hmm. you can read and remember doesn't mean you're intelligent, mm -hmm. it just means you have a good memory, because mm -hmm. there are a lot of people that can remember a lot of things and, and can regurgitate things back to you, but they don't mean they're necessarily smart. You ask them to write something down their own and they'd be trying to be difficult. They can't give you their own assessment, but they can give you a teacher what the teacher told them in school. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's actually intelligence, but I said more so you just read and remember. Right. What about measuring some some kind of it's a measure of your prior high school experience? Mm, that too, because sometimes schools are, are different. Some schools are better than other schools. Like um I had uh, in my middle school when I went to uh high school, I had a lot of people come from a lot of different middle schools, and they knew a little more than I did at the time. So I was in like a pre-algebra, mm -hmm. and some other friends that was in my science class, they had like regular algebra, and they weren't smarter than me, because we would be in other classes, and they would be class clowns. And I'm like, wow, but y'all know a little more than me, but they were exposed to mm -hmm. more than me coming from middle school. Right. And for my middle school, just the classes, the curriculum just wasn't that hard. Right. So a lot of times, did you, did you, did you think at the time oh, they've had, you know, um, better schooling in the past, or did mm -hmm. you think, were you, uh, um, or did you interpret um, their slightly higher skill level as being, like, a sign that they were smarter you than know, you? I just thought that they just had this already. That's how they knew someone. That's just what right. I thought. Because I was, I was, I received, like, my first C probably in sixth grade. And then I, from there I went on honor roll again. But I was on, most of my life I've been on honor roll. Mm -hmm. like I've missed class at times, but I've never been in class and failed the class or got a bad rate in the class that I was actually in. So I was always the thought that, well, they was just taught this stuff and I wasn't. Mm -hmm. This is how I looked at it. Right. Because once I got the formula, I was as smart as anybody in the class. I was one of the best classes, right. one of the best students in the class. Do you think other students, though, might interpret the difference between them and someone who's a little bit more advanced as a sign of their intelligence versus a sign of their preparation? I think some people do, but, but some people have a lot more confidence than other people. And thus, some people are called like alphas, and some people are not. So I think that, that level comes into play with people as far as their confidence level. Mm -hmm. Because even though somebody might know something, all you have to get is the formula. Mm -hmm. That's all you have to get. All you have to do is just be exposed to it. And mm -hmm. then you can be just on the same level as anybody right. do, you, do you think other students really understand that, though? No, no, because everybody might have the same confidence level. Right. And so you have a certain level of confidence that helps you see the situation for what it is? I think so. I think so. I think I do. But not in all aspects of it, because I know I'm weak in some things. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not strong in everything. I'm weak on the computer. Right. But do you see that as a sign of your intelligence or your preparation? Preparation. Definitely preparation. Right. Because I, I don't own, through the years, I haven't been always on the computer. I've been knocking down buildings, so it wasn't. I wouldn't necessarily need the computer. Mm -hmm. So so sometimes I need using the computer. I can tell Professor Gay all the time, I'm a little bit computer literate on this or that. But I've gotten so much better just being in school like the last month. Like I'm so, so much better at it. So mm -hmm. I just think I just need to be, you know, put more repetition in. Mm -hmm. And the more I put in, the better I get. Mm -hmm. This is how I see it. Right. Um, so why do you think there is a, a placement test? Um, do you think there might be a, a better way to uh, achieve the, the purpose of placement? 
I think the test is fine because you have to be able to evaluate the people in your classroom. You want to put in a, mm -hmm. you want to put some money in so they just totally overwhelm with what they do. Like some people just aren't as advanced as other people. Mm -hmm. so you put someone in a class that's just way too far for them, they might just get overwhelmed and just like, you know what, I'm not even going to be here. I'm just going to leave. And you can easily see people doing that. Just like, nah, this ain't for me. So just based on taking the placement test, they decide it's not for them. I can, I can see people doing that, but just being like, once you, after the placement test, once you get into a room, and if there's people that are just too advanced for you, or the class is too advanced for you, I can mm -hmm. see people just not. Just check them out mentally. Because mm -hmm. sometimes in my math class, the teacher goes a little fast, and some people just get offended. They're like, oh, can you guys slow down? And we all don't get it. So I think that people get angry when they don't get something, when they're not comfortable with something. Mm -hmm. So I see that a lot in the math class. Mm -hmm. Like I said, a lot of people in math class, that's just, they don't prepare well either. Because I talk to a lot of females, even some of the young guys, that's in there, they, they just don't prepare. But I tell them, I said, when you go home, I ain't going to do the work at home. So if you give us some homework, just go and do it. Even if you don't give us some homework, just go home and just study some of these problems. And you, when you come back, you're going to have it. they be like, yeah, okay, I think you're right. I'll, maybe I will. As if they tell me they don't when they get home. That's the best way to do it. Just on your own, in your own time, just study it. And why, why do you think they, they don't see that? They don't see the connection between the homework and... and, and people just have all things they want to Because when we in class, people tell us about movies and stuff all the time. So if you watch that movie, you could have easily been doing some math problems. Mm -hmm. Or you could have easily been doing some writing. It wasn't like the movie stopped you from doing anything. Because I had the TV on all the time while I'm doing math or while I'm reading. But the TV's still on. I still seen some of the parts of the movie. Mm -hmm. But it's just more interesting for me to read or me to write. Like that's maybe because that's what I like to do. Mm -hmm. But watching the movie doesn't stop me from doing that, though. Or when I'm watching a football game, I'm still reading. I'm still reading the book. And I'm still writing Still That's just a kind of in the background. I, I'm still watching the game, right? But I'm still going to read and write because this is what I want to do. Right. So I think people don't do that all the time. They are easily distract. And some people will tell you I'm easily distracted. Mm -hmm. Some people aren't. They aren't afraid to tell you that. But some people are. Some people aren't as open though. But there are a lot of people that will tell you. Well, I'm a little bit easily distracted. And some people when they're at home, like they maybe start eating or something, and they just put the work to the side. They don't go back to doing their work or preparing for that test right. or something like that. Do you think do you think they 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 put it off or they say they're easily distracted or um, do you think any of that is like a, an an excuse or do you think um, they put it off because something about it makes them feel bad about themselves? Mm -hmm. That's a possibility. I mean, people make excuses for a lot of different things, though. So that's that's a possibility. I, mean, I just think people are really just easily distracted though. Like because people try to multitask with different things, but it's hard to multitask with something when you're doing different things. If you really just need to focus on one thing. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. That's just how your brain really works though. It's mm -hmm. kinda hard to split it up when you're doing different things. You right. may be able to do it. But if you're not focusing on something, if you splitting your if you splitting your brain up to do different things, something is not getting as much focus as it needs to. That's just how the brain's gonna work. Mm -hmm. So I think that people be trying to do that and then they just lose interest in whatever else they're doing and just... Yeah, why do you think they're trying to do that? Why do you think they don't understand uh, how their brain works? I don't think people study that aspect of life. I don't think, I don't think that. I don't think that's very interesting for people to study. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Um, what do you think would happen if there was no placement test? I don't think that would be good either, though. Because then how would you evaluate the people? It says sometimes when you have people that go to math 016 and then they don't even do good in 016 now. So if you place someone in 016 that would that would normally be in 016 if you did the crazy test, if you place them in 118, they're gonna totally be overwhelmed with this. Some people you can give them the form and they still don't get it. It still mm -hmm. takes them a while for the register to it. Right. So I think that would be very difficult for people. So do you think if there was no placement test, students would just kind of automatically put themselves in the college level class, or would some of them know that they needed the developmental level? No, some people would just still put themselves in a the higher level, just thinking that this is where I'm supposed to be going. And then they get there and they realize, but well, wait a minute, this is really too difficult. And that may cause people to just drop out mm -hmm. because people drop out from the easier ones. Like, like I said, that um, all, everybody didn't even make it down to take the patent test the second time, and we had the brushing class for like two weeks or something. Two, three weeks, something like that, and everybody still didn't make it down and take the placement test. And they basically went over everything that was on the test. You see, you see,